Hello, this is Father Daniel Kim, Marino Missioner, and welcome to our daily Gospel reading and reflection. Today's Gospel reading is according to St. Matthew, chapter 11, verses 20 to 24. Jesus began to reproach the towns where most of his mighty deeds had been done, since they had not repented. Woe to you, Chorazin! Woe to you, Bethsaida! For if the mighty deeds done in your midst had been done in Tyre and Sidon, they would long ago have repented in sackcloth and ashes. But I tell you, it will be more tolerable for Tyre and Sidon on the day of judgment than for you. And as for you, Capernaum, will you be exalted to heaven? Will you go down to the netherworld? For if the mighty deeds done in your midst had been done in Sodom, it would have remained until this day. But I tell you, it will be more tolerable for the land of Sodom on the day of judgment than for you. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, O Lord Jesus Christ. Today we celebrate a relatively new saint added to the canon of saints, Katari Tekawitha, also known as the Lily of the Mohawks, was canonized on October 21st, 2012. Saint Katari was born in 1656 and is the first Native American to be recognized as a saint. Very relevant to the Gospel today, Saint Katari's life represented the opposite of those whom Jesus was reproaching. Despite suffering from smallpox since the age of four and facing ridicule and rejection from those around her after her conversion to the faith, she lived her life fully dedicated and motivated by the good news without needing much reassurance from the mighty deeds that Jesus was referencing in today's passage. During times of trial and hardship, such as the one we are undergoing currently, it is through the examples of saints like Katari Ktekawitha that we find steadfastness, courage, and hope that we will indeed overcome and not only survive, but thrive in whatever challenges we encounter. Thank you for listening to today's Gospel reading and reflection. Please be sure to tune in again tomorrow. Have a blessed and resilient day.